It worked. We do the hard work, so you... Why do I have to say the second half? Because it's a team. Bombed organic market. You guys know I shop here all the time, but now you're gonna be able to come inside. Come on, follow us. Okay, so for um, the pie challenge between Sergeant Fit and his two daughters, um, I'm going, we all, each of us have to make um, three small pies. These little tins were so little, look how small that is, that I'm going to actually do three of each pie, okay? So the contest is the fact that we have to make a nut pie, a pumpkin pie, and a fruit pie. My secret weapon is I'm not baking any of the pies. I'm actually going to make them all refrigerated pies, and I think this is going to get me the win. Everything's vegan, by the way, because I'm vegan. Um, so the challenge is, is to be able to make these things without animal products, which isn't that hard, I think. There's a lot of products out now that uh, makes this easier for everybody. So right now I'm actually going to make the pudding that is gonna fill the pie. I'm not quite sure this needs to be cooked. I didn't read the recipe to tell you the truth. <laughs> I just wrote the ingredients down. So we'll play by ear. I imagine it has to be cooked a little bit. Okay, so there's that. I'm using for this coconut sugar, which is pure and unrefined. Now I've never made this before, so I have no idea. My goodness what the heck oh, this is dangerous all right now my dad said it was strong oh it smells all right to me teaspoon teaspoon and then the secret ingredient to make it all thicken up is cornstarch okay got my little oh okay get my little spatula maybe a whisk do I have a whisk? Crapola. What about this? This will probably work, right? Very rarely do I use cornstarch. I have no idea. Sometimes a recipe calls for it, but I, I don't know. I'm not an expert on it. Yeah, this isn't thick. What the heck are they eating? I've got five dogs and they're eating something. I don't know what. How about watching a whole YouTube video of me just stirring? Oh, it's doing something. Not really, but I just thought I'd add a little excitement to this. So I'm gonna stay up all night if I have to. I'm winning this contest. Is it supposed to be like that? I don't know. OMG, look. It worked. It's thickening. Uh, how about that? Yeah, whether or not it tastes good is a whole nother story. I don't know. Oh, my back. Went to the gym tonight and uh, my regular gym. Um, I don't even know if I can say who it is. Giant Fitness. So they're usually 24 hours a day and I used to work in the fitness industry. And Christmas Eve, I don't remember closing the gym super early. So I do hair now, went to do hair, and then figured I'd go to the gym afterwards. And 
pull up at like 145 and the guy comes out, we're not letting anybody in past 130. And I was like, oh crap, okay. Well, we're gonna open up back tomorrow morning at four o'clock to two. Like why not just stay open later Christmas Eve and then not open at all Christmas day? I mean, that seems a little more reasonable, right? So then I went down the street cause I had to go to Target and then there's a Crunch Fitness. And I said, hmm, let me just go see if I can pay for the day. So I did. Not really a fan of the gym. It's just, uh, I like a little old school type of gym. And this one is all brand new. Equipment's a little too sophisticated, you know? Kind of tastes like gravy. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Do I polish this turd? Hmm? I wonder. Or do I start something else? I've only been vegan for about six months now. I've been vegetarian for many, many years. Um, but I haven't really baked that much since I've been vegan and I love baking. Um, I've been baking, the only thing that I've done uh, is two uh, loaves of pumpkin bread. And it was pretty good. It was very good actually. I think I like the vegan better than regular. It was much more uh, moist and dense because there's no egg. All right, let's see. That's better. What are you guys doing? We doing, Noni? We guys doing? I'm not quite sure I was ready for like. Ah, you're slipping. More sugar, please. Just a little more. And a little more cinnamon. I never trust a recipe, ever. I have a uh, Himalayan pink salt crystals. Himalayan salt is not nearly as strong as like um, sea salt, but it's supposed to be healthier for you. I think because it has more minerals or something. So I'm gonna refrigerate this and then I am going to go sit down and figure out what is going into the next pie that I'm gonna do, and then I'll come right back. Hello! <laughs> There's no way for me to like start this without being awkward, so here I am. <sighs> I don't like this. I feel really weird without somebody in front of the camera. Okay, these are most of my ingredients. Give you a little shot, because all you're gonna see is what I'm doing and not me. I need to make sure I have everything. I wash my hands. Recipe. The recipe would help. I'm so disorganized and nervous. I got my recipe here. Yes. On my lip tap. What is, what are we going to attempt to make first? We are going to attempt to make this thingy, which is a, what is it? A chocolate hazelnut tart. So it's technically not a pie, but shh, don't tell anybody. I actually hate nut pies. Like genuinely hate nut pies, hate like things with nuts on them. <laughs> so this though has a nut crust, which I don't think, I'm not sure if that actually counts, but we're gonna, we're gonna try, oh, I can't curse. Oh, baby Jesus. Okay. Didn't go to film school to knock over the camera. Let me let me take this off the tripod for a minute. Okay. I'm really nervous. I am a terrible baker. Um so I'm kind of the underdog here. I'd say my dad is probably the dark horse and my sister is the one that is the one to watch out for. But my for my bowls. Yeah, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> okay. I'm going to do one pie at a time, because if I try and multitask, I'll probably rip my hair out. So the first pie I'm going to try it to do is this hazelnut pie. Oh my god, I don't even want to do this right now. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> Help! Hold on, I need something to drink. I'm already thirsty. Okay, I'm just gonna take you along. It's gonna be a rough ride here. Okay, I need a freaking drink. 
should go for my Powerpuff Girls cup. That is awesome. But I'm an adult. So I have to drink water out of a regular cup. Like a normal human does. Look at all my plants. I'd rather talk about my plants than make this stupid pie. Ugh. Oh, I just put water all over the front of my shirt. What the F? I'm so stressed. <laughs> so stressing. Use foil or four line muffin cans. Okay. Okay. I need my muffin tins. These are the muffin tins that we're using, right? They're super small. I mean, this is a clementine and it fits right in, in it. That's how small it is. So all these recipes are going to have to be... What, what am I even saying? Ah! Okay, so far this isn't starting out great. I've already spilt water all over my my sweatshirt. Um, I'm wearing my lucky shoes. My lucky shoes. Um, but they're not bringing me much luck right now. Okay. Let's start the pie. First thing, use foil or four-line muffin cups. Place a regular mouth... Wait, what? Blah, blah, blah. In a medium bowl, add all crust ingredients and stir with a fork until evenly combined. Okay, that I can do. I don't really like to talk all that much while I'm baking because I'm trying to focus. So if I don't say that much, it's because, you know, I'm trying to win this. I'm not a baker. I try so hard and I fail each time. It's very rare that I will get a recipe and do anything right the first time. What am I doing? Okay, we got the first ingredient for the pie, which is basically this hazelnut meal flour. Then we need two teaspoons of natural cocoa powder. I'm not, I don't think I want to use cocoa powder. I think I'd rather use cacao. Now this is where I'm going to trip myself up because every time I substitute ingredients, I always mess it up. Oh, am I doing this right? One. Okay, I know that the most important part about baking is getting the measurements correctly. I watch a lot of British Bake Off, and I know that if you mix up a teaspoon with a tablespoon, you could basically ruin your whole recipe. So, measurements are important. Now I need three tablespoons coconut oil melted. The melted part is very important. <gasps> Nana, what are you doing? Coconut oil needs to be melted. Dance spray. I don't know if this is melted enough. I don't know if that's melted. Oh! Oh, what is wrong with me? I'm like mad hungry right now. You know, this is the worst thing ever is trying to make food while you're hungry. Let's try not to spill this. Ah, it's hot. Ow, that was really hot. What? Cheese and crackers, this is a mess. So what are we working on here? This is my crust. This is the crust. For my nut pie. For the nut pie? Yes. Okay, that's good. So I'm not learning any secrets here, am I? No, what's the point? You already picked out your recipe. That's true. Well, I don't have it locked in stone yet. Pie one. Now I have to put it in the fridge. <sighs> Other crust. My babies are all grown up. Look at that. Ooh. Well, now it's my turn to make the pies. After the voice behind the camera spent all night back here. It's now, what time is it now? After 9 o'clock? It's after 9 o'clock. Christmas Eve. And now I gotta knock out nine pies. These little tins right here. Um, three pumpkin pies, three 
nut pies, and three fruit pies. Yeah. And to make things simple, I'm using the same crust for all three. I'm going to make a graham cracker crust um, without butter or oil because, one, Kelly's the vegan. I'm trying to keep it vegan. And number two, the voice behind the camera used all of the coconut oil. And now I have to improvise and try to make a crust without it. And that's what I'm going to do. 365 brand organic honey grams. That's what we're going to make the crust out of. And it's going to be vegan. I'm going to do the pumpkin pie first because I figure by the time I'm done, I'll be so gassed out. I'm just going to not make the other pies and go to bed. And how many of these packages do you think I should use? A little help. I shouldn't even be helping you. You're in the competition. We're going to start off by smashing this up and see what happens. Okay, the pie crusts are done. Boys behind the camera is laughing at me. I have nine pie crusts here. And this is what they look like right here. It's a graham cracker crust. And I'm not a baker and I don't like baking. So I'm going to be honest. These are terrible looking. All right. Um, unfortunately, I, I didn't have it enough. Um, I'm using, what kind of oil did I use in this again? <laughs> Grapeseed oil because it doesn't have uh, any flavor. Three of these or four, I forget which ones, don't have any oil in it at all. They're oilless. Graham cracker. You did not crust. Use water. Yes, I did. I used water. That's why it was all st stick. But I'll tell you why. I, I feel very confident about the water one. And it's and it's sweetened with uh, pure maple sugar. No, ma ma maple syrup. Pure maple syrup from Vermont. The good Super stuff. Bad, and it's organic. What? What do you mean if I win? You. You would be upset? Yes. So, I've got nine of them prepared here, and the oven is preheating at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And as soon as that light goes out, which I think it already is, that was pretty fast. Was it already hot? Anyways, we're going to pop them in for 10 minutes, and we'll be right back. And I guess the next thing is we're going we're gonna to do the pumpkin pie mix. We're not even going to measure. We're just going to throw that stuff in the pot. <laughs> so I'm, I'm being I'm you... being laughed at because of my poor planning. I got the pumpkin pies in. I told you. I would tell you like, wait, did you get your recipes? Did you get your recipes? This is for the fruit pie, and all I have is fruit, and I'm stuck. <laughs> I don't know what else to do. I got cashews. I'm going to put this in my pie. I'm going to make the pie out of cashews. That's not. That's not how it works. Okay, yeah. I'm going to put some egg substitute, vegan egg substitute in there, and a little bit of coconut milk, and I'm going to stick it in the pie, in the pie shell. I was just going to take the fruit and put it in the pie shell. I have bananas, strawberries, um, pineapple, and what is this? It's like cantaloupe or mango. Mango. Uh, mango. You don't even know. You literally just bought frozen fruit and nothing else. Well, it's and you said to me, "Come on, with, well, they didn't have any recipes for it." You're right. They don't have recipes for frozen fruit mixes. I know. I uh, this is no wonder why you were so pissed when you actually had to make the pie because you didn't have any. I don't pie. like bacon. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Ah, uh, it's hot! Ah! <laughs> uh, <laughs> muffins. No, muffins. I mean, not muffins. Oven muffins. Muffins. No, what are they called? Mittens. mittens. They are so old. They're not mittens. And they're oven. Oven mitts. Yeah. Yeah. Mitts. Look, how, mittens. look how look how burnt they are. It didn't cook. Just what didn't did cook. you use? I used pumpkin. Organic pumpkin. No, I don't need all the ingredients. What was your solidifier? 
So we got the nut pie situation squared away after deep discussion and coming to an agreement of two minds. So we have it right here and we put in some cashew, cashew butter, both organic, uh, organic blackstrap molasses and vanilla extract, organic vanilla extract, not the imitation stuff, but the real stuff from Madagascar. And uh, what else did, did I put in here? Um, oh, flaxseed. So this is going to uh, get things moving when we eat it. So we got it all mixed together. We chopped up our organic cashews and put some whole cashews in there and we got it right there. I don't know if you guys can see that. Right there, and now it goes in the refrigerator. The timer's going on, and now we have to figure out the fruit pie. Well, this kitchen's a mess. All right, fruit pie is done. Look at that. Okay. Fruit pies. So, there's supposed to be three pies here, but there's only going to be two, because I, I think I forgot to mention one of my pie crusts fell in the oven. I'm going to be short of pie. All right. So all we have left now is the pecan pie. Cashew. I got the crusts right here. So we're going to load those up. The crust, that's what the crust look like after it's been baked. Hmm. Smells good. I think that turned out really well. And I'll be back when the filling's ready. Okay. The cashew mix is firmed up in the refrigerator. Now we're going to spoon it. How firm is this supposed to be? All right, there's an awful lot of mixture here for the three little pies. Let's, let's taste this. Mmm. Mmm. You really have to like molasses to like this. All right, so the last pie is done. Out of the oven, this is the cashew pie. That's what it looks like right there. I had how many of these? Three of them. I have three. Three cashew pies. Came out really good, actually. Mmm, smells good. Might even have overcooked a little bit. I don't know. We won't know tomorrow. Anyways, that's it. It's after midnight. It's Christmas. Merry Christmas, everybody. And the next time, you will see two of us with the voice behind the camera makes three, but you won't see her. And it'll be Christmas. We'll be having dinner. We get to see what the dinner is. And we'll have the pie contest, which I know I am not going to win. I have come to the conclusion that I like watching bake shows more than I like baking. I hate baking. I can think of a lot of things I would rather do than bake. Milk cows, shear sheep, plow the fields, clean gutters. You name it, I'll probably do it rather than bake. We have accomplished baking uh, three, six, nine pies each. And there's three of us and all the pies are organic, healthy, and they're all supposed to be vegan. I don't know what the voice behind the camera did. I'm, I have to check with her tomorrow, but I know all my pies are vegan. So Merry Christmas everybody. And we will see you tomorrow. Sergeant Fit out. Oh! We gave you a one for yeah. that. Is that a good sign or a bad sign? Dude, you're gonna make me throw up if I'm laughing. <laughs> what is that? Six or what? Th Why are you still here? It's over. Click on another video. You know you want to. Or subscribe. I'll see you later. Six hundred two.